All right, I'm working on a tutorial video today uh, for the pattern Woven Threads, which is from Interweave's um, Chain Reaction Afghan project. Had a lot of questions, so I'm working on this tutorial video to help understand how to make the strips. The first instruction is to chain 31, and I've already done that. Next, single crochet in fifth chain from hook. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and this says that the skipped chain counts as a chain one and a half double crochet. So here's the chain one, and these three are counting as a half double crochet. Okay, chain one, double crochet in same chain. Skip next chain, single crochet, chain one, double crochet in next chain. 12 times. Okay, skip a chain, single crochet, chain one, double crochet, and it says to do that 12 times. So Let's see here. Okay, so this is my first one. So that's one. Two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Five, six, Seven, eight, Ten. Eleven. 
11. And one more. All right, there's 12. Then it says skip next chain, half double crochet and last chain. Chain two, single crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same chain. Now this, this winds up being like the end of our, our strip because we're turning a corner here and going to work down the other side. Okay, this chain two here, that's like the corner. We're making a rectangle here and that's a corner. Um, let's see. Chain two, this is another corner chain two. Turn to work along bottom ridge loop of foundation chain half double crochet and first chain. Okay, that's the same one we've been doing right there. Skip next chain, single crochet, chain one, double crochet in next chain. 13 times. Okay, so we're working back into the same chains that we've already worked into. I'm gonna weave in my end as I go here. It's easy to do by just crocheting over it. That's one. Two. Three, four, Five, six, seven. Eight. And by the way, these are easy to find because they're the loops that are right at the bottom of the single crochet chain one DC that I've already done. There and there and there. Okay, now I gotta go back and tell myself what I was doing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, and there's thirteen. 
Excuse me while I resituate a moment. Okay. So that was 13 times. Then we skip the next chain. So the next chain is hard to see, but it's right here. Okay, that's at the bottom of that, at the bottom of our turning chain. So remember the turning chain that we have here counts as a chain one and a half double crochet, which is these three chains. We're skipping this one here. It's kind of gotten pulled tight, so it's pretty small. <clears throat> then we're going to half double crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next chain. Okay, that's to help us turn the corner. So that is going to go, well, it's hard to get to the top of it. There it is right there. Okay, right, right there. Okay, so we have double crochet here. And then chain two, that's a corner chain two. Single crochet, chain one, double crochet, and the last chain, and then chain two, that's our corner again. Slip stitch in top of beginning chain to join. So, hmm, I think that where we want to put this is here. Okay, so on the top of our turning chain. And that this part right here is like our half double crochet and that's the corner chain two. Okay, so now we chain one. Okay, first turn, chain one, half double crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one, double crochet, in the corner chain two space. Okay, that's here. Half double crochet, chain two, which is making our corner, single crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch, which is there. Uh, single crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next chain one space, which is here. Skip the next stitch, and that's there, and in the corner chain two space, which is here. Hmm. Yep, right there. Single crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. And then we're going to skip two stitches. In the next chain one space. Yeah, that doesn't seem right there. Let me think about this. Let's go back. Half double crochet, corner chain two space, single crochet, whoops. Chain one, double crochet. 
then this should be in this chain one space we single crochet chain one double crochet and okay see here's the corner space right here okay so we're going to single crochet chain one double crochet chain two for the corner half double crochet here all right now we can skip the next two stitches there we go okay so now down the side 13 times in each chain one space we'll single crochet chain one double crochet Okay, so that should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen times, and then repeat from the star. So again, in our chain two space, we are going to half double. corner chain two, single crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then in the next chain one space we will single crochet, chain one, double crochet. In the next chain two space, let's see that should be here. We will single crochet, chain one, double crochet, corner chain two, half double crochet. Then we're going to skip these two stitches and begin to do our single crochet, chain one, double crochet in each chain one space on the side.
Okay, now I've gone all the way down this side that way. Slip stitch in beginning half double crochet to join. The beginning half double crochet is right here. So I'll slip stitch here to join. And then you fasten off. So here's what it looks like. Um, oh, I can't get it far enough away. So you can see the two ends, they do wind up being slightly different. I can't really say exactly why that happens, but when you weave them together and put the edging on, it should help kind of even it out a little bit. So that's, that's how it goes.